And um, I know you have a wife and a little one, and I'm just wondering how that is emotionally for you, how um, you know you communicate what, what's going on, um, when you hope to see them again, um, and also were they living, are they living in the Bay Area or were they living somewhere else? Uh, yeah, it's good. Fortunately, um, it actually worked out perfect where they uh, went home to see some family and do some things back home um, in Alabama and Mississippi. And uh, so they haven't been with me. So it's I've kind of been on my own for a couple weeks now. And uh, we're excited for the adjustment. Uh, we're here. Um, we all feel comfortable. Um, Riss and SLEP and our uh, ops and management team, they've done a great job of providing all the resources. Uh, we have everything we need to be successful here. And uh, it's time to make this place home. Yeah, that's awesome. I mean, I I loved working with Brandon. I've loved working with Brandon, you know, since camp. I, I really think he's a great player. Um, and then just to have everybody back is, uh, it makes this team better. Uh, we got Debo back and we got Raheem back. We got Jeff back. And to see how much better um, those guys are with the ball in space, um, it makes this team better. And uh, so the more guys that we can get back uh, to make us better as an offense, uh, it's a blessing. And uh, we're pumped and excited and ready to get out to practice today. Mm -hmm. Yeah, uh, I mean, the NFL is full of um, adversity, uh, different challenges uh, week to week, um, and all sorts of things you can imagine the NFL happen. And uh, so this is just kind of the next the next thing, the next challenge, the next adversity. Um, and it is. For some guys, uh, you have to be strong. You have to focus on uh, what's important. Um, Family is important, but um, so is our jobs. You know, we do this for a living, and um, we have we have jobs to do, and uh, we're all expected to perform at a high level. And um, so that's what we're focused on. And uh, we're excited to face the Bills on Monday. Are there ways to, to bond, uh, to, to socialize, to make this a little bit easier without being close to one another? I'm just wondering about, you know, uh, video game tournaments, uh, anything to sort of, um, you know, pass the time and, and, and to bond without being literally next to one another. Yeah, um, during the season, I'm not a huge video game guy, but I know that we have a solid crowd on our team um, that does that does like the uh, Xbox and PlayStation. Um, so yeah, I'm sure there's some guys that brought um, brought the systems and are um, definitely going to find a way to pass their time that way. Um, but we're just focused on being here, um, playing football, and doing our jobs just like regular. Um, it wasn't. It wasn't too bad. It wasn't too bad. Once we got the news, we're going to Arizona, um, and then you just pack your bags and go. Um, you just uh, roll with it. You know, it's really it's kind of the mentality of the team. Um, roll with it. Do the work. Work hard. Focus on what matters, and that's beating the Bills. And uh, we've kind of just been going with it. And uh, so we're here. Like I said, the ops guys have done an incredible job. Um, we got our weight room. We got our training room. Uh, we got our meal room. Everything you could imagine. It's uh, we're here now, and uh, so it's been great, and everybody's done a great job. Nick, one, one room you guys don't have is like a quarterback room, I'd imagine. You guys all have to be separate and watching film on Zoom. So can you kind of maybe share with what that's like, whether you're watching the game film uh, on your laptop and maybe Coach Shanahan, like how does that work in this new season of environment and out of the strict protocol now? Yeah, so um, everything is just virtual. So team meetings are virtual, position meetings are virtual. And um, so, I mean, obviously they, they can share the screen. So you're, you're watching uh, their screen, which is the Bills film. And um, while you're watching the film, they're talking through it and uh, we're sharing our thoughts. Um, so it's basically everybody just looking at one screen and um, just sharing thoughts back and forth. 
and uh, going over the plays um, that are installed each day. Um, today is base downs, and uh, so that's kind of the game plan for today. Yeah, I mean, it's something that you uh, kind of just ingrained in your mind. Um, as a quarterback, it's uh, the most important thing, protect the football. Um, and that's something that you have to work on, but I feel like you also, the, the more preparation, um, keeping two hands on the ball in the pocket, um, and just the harder you work at the small details, I feel like take, uh, turnovers take care of themselves. And uh, so that's what I've been focusing on. And um, all year, our ball carriers have done a great job of uh, protecting the ball in traffic. Um, we had a really insane stat. It was a couple hundred touches without a fumble. Um, so we've been doing a good job overall. Uh, I know last game we uh, coughed a couple up, but that's the biggest thing. Just focus on the details, um, high and tight. Um, for me, crisp, sharp decisions, know where to go with the football, and um, being strong in the pocket. Um, so it's really just hard work, focus. And I'm working on the fundamentals, and uh, turnovers take care of themselves. Nick, you're the starting quarterback for this crucial stretch run, but it's still Jimmy Garoppolo's team. So how do you approach leading right now in Arizona? Are you a vocal leader, or do you just lead by example? Yeah, it's a good question. Um, it it kind of you just kind of get the feel of the team. Um, at the end of the day, you be yourself, uh, work as hard as you can, and make plays, and uh, that's how you gain respect. Um, and then you just you just keep working hard after that. I mean. My personality always just going to bring some energy, always have a, be a positive influence and things like that. And uh, we have a great group. You know, guys pick each other up, uh, always encouraging each other and uh, fighting when it gets tough. And uh, so I like our group right now, uh, tight knit, strong, and um, I hope I just bring positive energy to that huddle. Yeah, no, I agree. Um, our schedules, we had to move, but it's been fairly kind uh, to us with the bye week. Um, and then now uh, playing on Monday, so an extra day of rest. Um, so those things definitely help. Uh, anytime you can be the fastest, most fresh team on the field, um, I feel like it's benefit, benefited us a lot. And uh, so I would agree with that point. Yeah, uh, the schedule hasn't been too much different. Um, I feel like, if anything, we had an extra day to watch film um, because of the Monday game um, and traveling, um, so that was nice. But now that we're here, the schedule is uh, right on par with our weekly schedule as far as um, times and basically everything. It's going to be a normal week for us, and um, so that's nice. You know, you just stick to your routine. And um, studying the Bills, uh, they're a good defense. Uh, you can tell right off the bat they're aggressive. Um, they're good at man coverage, um, tight. Um, they do a good job, and uh, they've got some good playmakers, some well-coached, they're disciplined, and um, they do a good job of disguise. So they've done a great job. They're having a really solid year, and uh, we're excited for the challenge. Two more guys. Nick, you overcame a few mistakes on Sunday and found ways to put the offense in a position to put points on the board. I wonder, is it, is it difficult to kind of forget those bad plays and move on? And, and what type of coaching are you getting from Kyle or one of the coordinators in between just to ensure you have that next play mentality? Yeah. Um, on the sidelines, mostly I'm dealing with Coach Shane Day, um, our quarterback's coach, and uh, he's, he's such a po positive influence on our room um, and during the game as far as, um, you know, when you're not scoring touchdowns every drive, um, he keeps us patient, you know, don't press, don't press, stay in the moment. And uh, so he does a great job of doing that. And uh, that was key on, uh, on Sunday. Um, took a little while, didn't finish um, as many drives with touchdowns as we would have liked to, things like that against a good defense. Um, but that's what you do. You just stay in the moment and um, just put play the next play. That's really all you can do. And I uh, thought we did a good job with that on Sunday. Last one. And Nick, even before this week, uh, you know, the off season, everything being virtual and during the season, not 
not having being able to hang out with your teammates socially, probably as many friends socially. How isolating has this season been, and does that take a mental toll? Um, it's not too bad mentally, but it is. Um, I'd say that's kind of one part that I might not enjoy as much about this season is, um, you know, when when there's no COVID, you're hanging out with your teammates as much as you can, you know, and that's that's one of the best part about this job is just being with your teammates. And uh, so COVID restrictions and things like that, it does limit our time. Um, you know, just sitting at the table, chatting it up, things like that. Uh, we, we can't we can't do that. And uh, so that's one thing um, that I wish that we could have is more time with teammates. Thanks, Nick. Um, yeah, and one one last thing. Um, normally I don't talk about too many guys, but uh, just want to – I just – I hate that Jamar Taylor um, kind of got hurt the way that he did. Um, just prayers and shout-out to him. Um, I really only say this because he's more of a – he's a silent guy. He did not talk a lot in the locker room. Um, but just kind of just asked him about his journey through when he first got here through camp. Uh, eight years, um, and he's a guy who's earned everything he's gotten in this league, and I uh, got a lot of respect for. And to see him do his job and fill in the way that he did, um, those are the guys that you respect in the locker room. And uh, so I had a lot of respect for Jamar, and uh, it was really tough to see him uh, get hurt um, the way that he did. Uh, but the type of guy that he is, uh, I know he's going to battle back uh, as strong as ever. And uh, so I just got a lot of respect for Jamar, and I wanted people to know um, how much of a veteran and uh, I guess silent leader he was on this team. Thanks, Nick. Appreciate you guys. Have a good one. Hey, Faithful, don't forget to click here and subscribe.